Hey, welcome to DigiPro Tips. I'm Andy Edmondson, and here we work smarter and not harder, which is why today we are going to look at how you can send a computer screen from one computer to another, be it Mac or Windows, wirelessly. And, and how you can send your iPhone or iPad screen to OBS Studio 2. How are we gonna do it? Well, let's find out right now. Okay, so how are we gonna do this wirelessly? Well, if you've been paying attention to my channel, you'll know that I've done a couple of videos on the power of a thing called NDI. Check them out here. If you're new to it, NDI is the ability to send video and audio data over your local area network, i.e. Wi-Fi or Ethernet, but it is basically wireless. So that means no cables. You don't need a capture card, you don't need HDMI cables, you don't need SDI cables, you just need a couple of plugins and you're good to go. So, what do we need? Well, we need to go over to NewTek's NDI tools and go to the bottom of the page and download the NDI tools package for Windows or Mac. I'll put the link in the description below. Windows has a few more apps available to it because NewTek builds most of its software on Windows architecture, but it does have Mac apps available. So download Mac or Windows, whichever you need, because all we actually want from this is the NDI scan converter and the NDI HX driver. So download those and install them. And once you have, you then just need to, it's very simple, you just need to have the window, the application, whatever it is on your computer that you want to send to OBS Studio open and then start Scan Converter on Windows or Mac. Now, the way that you use Scan Converter on Windows is different to the way you use it on Mac. On Windows, it will just go down into the bottom system tray and you will right click and choose your settings from there. Choose your frame rate, choose your audio source. And on Mac, you will go to file and you will choose the window, the application that you want to send as an NDI stream across your network and choose the settings from there. Once you have done that on both, your computer is now sending that screen as an NDI stream across your network to be picked up anywhere as an NDI source. And where are we gonna pick it up? Well, we're gonna pick it up in OBS Studio. Now you could even do this on the same computer, but if you have a gaming computer, for example, and you want to send your gameplay to a different computer to do the heavy lifting of the streaming, then this is exactly how you want to do it. Now, all we need to do is download the NDI plugin for OBS and install that, link in the description. Open up OBS once you've installed the plugin and then add a new scene, add a new source, and then choose NDI source. You will now have the option to click a drop down menu in the NDI source UI and you should see your scan converter NDI stream available for you there. Click OK and it will instantly pop up in OBS. There it is. That is your gameplay, that is your computer screen, that is your web page, whatever it might be that you are sending from another computer, it is right there available for you. You can now record that, you can stream that out, you can do whatever you want with it. How then do we use our iPhone or iPad screen as another source in OBS? Well, it's very simple. In fact, it's so simple, it's ridiculous. All you need to do is go to the App Store and download a free app called NDI HX Capture. It's made by NewTek. All you have to do is download that app, wait for it to install, open it up and click Start Broadcasting Close the app because you are now done with that app. You should see the little red marker in the top left hand side of your screen that shows that you are broadcasting. Open up whichever app it is you want. I'm gonna choose Fortnite here. And now my screen, my app, whatever it is that's on my phone currently is streaming across my network and I can pick it up in OBS as a new NDI source. So I'll go to OBS, I'm going to add a new NDI source, I'm going to choose my phone and instantly it's there. My phone is there as an NDI source and I can record that, I can stream that out, I can do whatever I want with it. And don't forget, in my previous video, I showed you how you can use your phone as a webcam in OBS using the exact same technology but with just a different app. 
check it out because you could then set up a computer with gameplay streaming to an older computer for example with OBS Studio on it, have your phone acting as a webcam and you have a gamer's stream setup right there. Very simply, no wires, no extra purchases, it's just free tech doing what it does best and that's working smarter and not harder and that's what we do here, that's what DigiPro Tips is all about. Now if you like what you've seen and heard then please do think about supporting us on our new Patreon, the link is in the description but aside from that you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, give us a like, write a comment and we'll see you in the next video.